There are car companies with racing programs, and then there are racing programs with car companies, such as McLaren. And to celebrate their 50th anniversary, they're dropping the top on their all-new, track-ready and race-inspired 12C Spider. Having test-driven just about everything on four wheels over the past 15-plus years, it's not every day I get to experience a car from a manufacturer in which I've never had any seat time. But such is the case today, as I can now cross McLaren off my bucket list. This convertible version of the 12 seat coupe is born of the same credo as every car this English company builds, to be a racing car at heart. And that's no easy task considering the typical metamorphosis of a convertible. But in this case, the 12 c Spider uses the same carbon fiber monocell, which required no extra strengthening, to preserve the 12 c supercar levels of performance and handling. In other words, you lose virtually nothing other than the added $26,000 required for ownership. The power retractable hardtop, which also retains the purity of coupe styling, is fabricated from a lightweight composite material and lowers in less than 17 seconds at speeds up to 19 miles per hour. This rear drive mid-engine roadster, weighing a mere 3,033 pounds dry, is a track car tuned to be just as friendly going to get the groceries. Using the same exact suspension as in the 12C, the Spider puts McLaren's proactive chassis to work in one of three settings, normal, sport, or track. Likewise, the seven-speed dual-clutch transmission can be dialed into the same three modes. But at the heart of the matter is a McLaren-built 3.8-liter twin-turbo V8 using a racing engine setup of dry sump lubrication and a flat-plane crankshaft. It's light and sits low, with dual exhaust outlets perched unusually high on the rear fascia. It sees a power boost this year to 616 horsepower. There are also other revisions, like those to the intake sound generator, which varies engine sounds inside the cabin, growing fiercer with each climb up the powertrain mode. An optional sports exhaust system is even louder. But don't fret if you've already purchased last year's 12C, as McLaren is offering those customers all of the 2013 upgrades at no charge. Mileage remains the same at 18 MPG combined. With a panel of world-class drivers on hand and seven spiders of every color, McLaren provided expert instruction on Monticello Motor Club's technically challenging four-mile course. From experiencing the face-pulling G-force of the car's launch control, which will run to 60 miles per hour in an astounding 3.1 seconds and through the quarter mile in 10.8, to autocross, hot laps, and experimenting with the unique brake steer and air brake systems, there was no doubt in my mind that the 12C Spider was the most capable road car on a racetrack that I had ever driven. I also drove examples with the optional ceramic composite brakes, which kill speed with physics-defying ease. Top speed is 204 miles per hour. If you've ever questioned the importance of weight savings before, I promise you the 12C Spider will change your mind. Easily controllable with high revving action, turn on a dime agility, and everyday driving comfort, minus the awkwardness of the dihedral doors, the 12C Spider is a supercar that puts its money where its mouth is. In this case, about $300,000. With 10 U.S. retailers, McLaren is ready to service the elite with a need for absolute performance. For Drive Time, I'm Steve Hammes.